I'm David Lamb of Metaware SPA, a joint stock company located in Italy that is responsible for the communication activities of the Caspar project. Caspar is a digital preservation project that is co-financed by the European Union within its sixth framework programme. So, how can digital data still be used and understood in the future when systems, software and everyday knowledge continues to change? This is the Caspar Challenge. Caspar intends to offer a methodological and technological solution to digital preservation within the ICT market. Caspar is a unique operating system which allows it to interoperate with as many systems as possible. It can be implemented using any kind of emerging technology and is applicable to multiple domains, including both public and private organisations. Let's have a look at what the Caspar project has to offer. My name is John Holland and I'm involved in the Caspar project for the CNRS. My aim is to present a little bit our collaboration with the INA GRM. INA GRM is one of the artistic testbed partners of the project and its role, of course, is to test the Caspar system for preservation thanks to a real use case. For example, in this kind of studio, composers produce works of electroacoustic music. The objective of INAR GRM is to enable the possibility to re-perform these works in the future. As a technical assistance, we, CNRS, have designed an interface between, on the one hand, the generic CASPAR system and, on the other hand, the peculiar requirements of a user community. For each musical work, INA GRM has a lot of files and information to preserve. Such an interface provides the ability to organize them thanks to a graphical representation. For each event of the life of the work, the user can create an element and relate documentation. Then, the user can export the representation wizard toward the Caspar system. Many initiatives are working on standards for digital preservation, but Caspar goes that one step further, as not only does it intend to preserve the data, but also the necessary knowledge that we require to interpret the data. We could say that Caspar is as important to digital data as the Rosetta Stone was for the interpretation of the Egyptian language. Thanks for listening.